To be quiet and, uh, and move in a little bit because my voice is gone. Hello, Last six, night six. was uh, what's new? Was a good night. <laughs> so, hello, Gumballers! Welcome to uh, New York. Yeah. I can't quite believe it, but it's the uh, 14th year that I've stood in front of you all and done this. And there's a lot of you that have done it many times, so it's like for me, it's uh, a bit of reunion. Great to see you all. Had a great time last night. And for the new ones, then uh, I hope you know what you got, got yourselves in for. I'm sure you've seen little bits about Gumball, and I think you've uh, probably got some friends on the rally. But uh, if you haven't, and this is totally new for you, then uh, you've got a great week to look forward to. I hope there's lots of friendships going to be made this week, and uh, you embody and embrace the kind of the Gumball spirit that we try and represent. Um, if you are new to this, couple of things that I obviously say every year really but um, I want to make sure you guys know that it isn't a race it's about getting from A to B safely it's a road trip it's the kind of thing that I hope that uh, friends and husbands and wives and girlfriends and boyfriends drive together and just have fun she and, uh, <laughs> and what? You are worth it. thank you <laughs> and um, Honestly, going, going on the, uh, the race thing, that generally the new people on the rally, obviously we've got some incredible sports cars here and everyone wants to put their foot down. There's definitely times to do that occasionally on the trip, but certainly in no city centres do we want to see anyone driving stupidly. We work with the cities everywhere, as you can imagine. You know, you don't cl close Times Square down without uh, everyone being involved, from the mayor to the, the police and everyone. So please make sure you understand that. Have a lot of respect. Um, we don't want an accident, it's the worst thing we've ever had. Five years ago on the rally was an accident, we don't want another one. And we honestly really want you guys to realize that, you know, this isn't that race. You know, there's cars of all kinds, there's uh, vintage cars, American muscle cars, supercars, three-wheelers, all kinds of cars in this event. So um, really, take it easy, um, especially if it's wet today. So that's my main concern. If we all get to Los Angeles safely and we haven't had any kind of drama or accidents, then I will have had an amazing gumball again. So just bear that one in mind. Um, apart from that, if you're new and you want to know how this rally works, you get a little root card everywhere. Hopefully you all went to registration yesterday, so you'll know that. So when you actually arrive, cross the finish line in the venue, our gumball crew there in their white crew jackets like this, but white, let's say crew on the back of them, will pass you a little root card. It gives you all the information for the week, uh, sorry, for the night, for the, the place that you've just arrived at. Please read them. It should tell you everything on there that you need to know until you get your next root card. Um, I've had a few people come up to me yesterday sort of saying, um, where are we going? Uh, I don't know why they don't know where they're going, but maybe they've just sort of uh, just arrived and, and never read any emails or anything. So. New York to Los Angeles, over seven days. We drive from here to, Tor to uh, Niagara Falls for a checkpoint, on to Toronto. We stay in Toronto overnight. Same thing as Toronto, we've closed down the city centre. Um, in every city across the route, we've closed down their equivalent of Times Square. So again, you know, every city's gone beyond kind of their support this year, which is fantastic. Um, from Toronto, we have lunch the next day in General Motors headquarters in Detroit and onwards to Indianapolis. As you know, we're there for the Indy 500, which is a, you know, a, incredible. I've never been to the Indy 500. It's on my kind of checklist of things to do in life. Um, and amazingly this year, we've managed to sponsor one of the teams, a team called BHA, Brian Herter Auto Sport. They actually won the Indy 500 last year. And this year, they've got a big gumball logo on the side of their car. So we really want, you know, that's our team for Indy. We've got the pit lane, we've got the VIP suites above the pit lane, and um, you're gonna cheer on our own Gumball car and, and, uh, in its first Indianapolis 500 race, which I think, come on, that gives a, deserves a cheer for sure. Yeah. that I have but as Lucy just reminds me um, 
in Indianapolis, as, as I said, there's, there's car displays everywhere, but we're in Indianapolis for two days. So when we actually arrive there, we park in their, monu in their downtown area called Monument Circle. The following morning, it's an incredible Sunday morning, it's a very, very early start of 7 a.m. It's quite early. In your cars? <laughs> in your cars at 7 a.m. because we're doing a police parade drive, all 100 Gumball cars, police escort down to, uh, down to the racetrack. And if you miss that parade, you miss it. to get like five miles from there to the Indy racetrack is going to be like a traffic jam of, of two hours or whatever. So you really have to be in that. And in Indianapolis, we park the cars right on the infield, on display. So that's pretty kind of exciting as well. Um, from Indy, we watch the Indy, have great time there, two parties, dinners, everything. Next day we drive across America to St. Louis for lunch and almost to Kansas City. Uh, from there we're going from Kansas, we do a, a racetrack uh, just outside Kansas City, so you've got a, a legal chance to, uh, to drive as fast as you want. We've got some test drivers there, some race cars there. Get yourselves on that. Uh, don't crash. We normally have a few people who crash on racetracks because they uh, suddenly think they can drive as fast as they can and, and realize they can't drive very well. <laughs> so um, try not to do that. From, uh, from there we get to, a, it's the longest drive of the rally, to, uh, to Santa Fe. Um, we've been to Santa Fe a few times. Our fan base in Santa Fe is huge. I'm sure the whole of the town is going to come out, which is last time we were there, about 10,000 people. Hopefully probably double that this time. From Santa Fe we do a, a lunch the next day at the Grand Canyon. Uh, we've done it a couple of times on the rally, but again, I've met a few people here that have, uh, this is their first time, they've never been there, so great spectacle to Las Vegas. Las Vegas will be a big night out. Um, I'm not sure you all know what we're doing. We had different plans and, and we sent out maybe a few bits of information about where, the, where our party is. But by popular demand, um, again, we've got great parties every night and you'll get that information on the route cards where they are. The party in, in uh, Las Vegas, I'm going to just tell you where it is because it's kind of funny and it's kind of random and cool. Instead of doing the cool party and everyone going to the strip club, we've decided to skip that out and we're going straight to the strip club. <laughs> so, the, so the party in Las Vegas, we've taken over Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> So we have a great party there, and I know there's a couple of gumballers in the room that have got amazing suites and, and, uh, and, and venues at, in Las Vegas as well that will throw the amazing after parties, I'm sure, which we'll let you know about on the day. Um, from there, we did the last blast across Death Valley. Those of you that live in Los Angeles, I know many of you have never driven through Death Valley, so it's a, an amazing, really stunning kind of scenic drive. It's where they film Star Wars. It's, uh, it looks like you're on the moon or another planet. So. Instead of doing the straight blast on the freeway to Los Angeles, we're doing the, the sort of the scenic route. And then we cross Hollywood Boulevard next Thursday at about 7 p.m. onwards. We've closed Hollywood Boulevard like we did, last, like we did uh, Times Square. And we have our finished party that night in the Roosevelt. So I want to get up on stage. It's almost the next time that I kind of uh, can address everyone together is at that finished party. Um, although we actually do have a dinner in, in Indianapolis where I hope, again, we get everyone together. But as you know, if you've been on this before, it's such a rolling event and I barely get a chance to see everyone. But uh, over the course of the week, forgive me if I think, forget some of your names, but it'd be great. I want to kind of be your host and, uh, and hang out and have a drink with you each night. And, um, you know, you get to know everyone. This isn't a corporate event. This is like my Gumble family. And, uh, you know, let's get to know each other, basically. Get to know the Dudesons first and you'll be all right. <laughs> We, we, got, we got the new Baywatch here and we got the original Baywatch just behind. I mean, come on, one side. To us, there are no stupid bets. Betsafe.com.